Hello everyone, welcome to the Adoran region, I'm your host Adoran himself, and we are back with the Detective Grimoire series. If you have no idea what's going on, there is a playlist in the description below that can tell you everything that you need to know about what's happened so far. Uh, the last episode had a lot of speeding up due to me not knowing how to solve puzzles, but uh, hopefully that's not the case today. That's the hope at least. We did a lot of stuff, we met a lot of people, talked about a lot of things, uh, so I'd recommend checking that out if you haven't already. Uh, with that said, I suppose we can just uh, continue doing what we were doing. I don't even know if I've found all the clues here. Uh, okay, I think we did. Probably, hopefully. Um, so, we finished the wood section, so let's go back here to an area we have not been to. The path in uh, the Boggy's Bog Museum. Now this is intriguing. Alright, let's see. Time to go click on a bunch of stuff. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. Hmm. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Yeah, I recognize those. Because that's, uh, that was in front of the, um, the protest dude. So that's fun. It's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum and into the woods. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. Oh, those are ruined. I'm telling <laughs> Those are gonna be ruined. Uh... That's the logo for Boggy Spog. So, I'm guessing this museum is an official part of the tourist attraction. I hope they don't charge an interest fee. Yeah, do I have my wallet with me? Did that fly away with my hat? <laughs> um, what are we even looking for? Hold up. So we're on the path right now. Side door surrounded by blue and red flowers, and there's a second thing. Could it be these wood planks? That museum is quite a nice building. Which makes it look even more out of place in a swamp. That's very true. Is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. That is very weird. Um, that museum is... is it... Alright, it's the same thing. So, I guess we walk inside the museum? The door is jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around. Just until the gap in the middle is clear. Alright, hopefully this is not a big puzzle. Um, that top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Well, that was fast. And here we are in the museum. Hmm. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Exhibit A. Five different notes? That's a lot. Um, there is a dude here. I don't want to talk to him yet. I'd like to click on a bunch of items. Books about Boggy and other mysterious creatures. I'll read them some other time. Alright. This too? Books about Boggy... Okay. Uh, how the... These are skulls? Oh, they're just models. Creepy models. That is kind of weird. Having... Um, skulls and stuff. Uh, let's see. Models of Boggy's claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. Okay, let's see. According to historical sketches, this skin would have a number of spots and patterns similar to that of a toad or frog. And then three prominent sharp claws, supposedly the prime weapon of the boggy swamp monster. Some early sketches even showed a small thumb. Well, hold up. This clearly doesn't have that. It feels like those two are there. And then this one doesn't look right either. I, it looks like someone Oops, tried to hide I don't think here. those are trying to... Like, those gloves were part of it. Sorry about that. Looks like someone tried to hide them here. Interesting. These slippers, they're not part of the museum exhibit, that's for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what about this stuff down here? Things in jars. Ooh. I don't like things in jars. Yeah. Unless the thing is marmalade. Oh, well, alright. I guess we found out, uh, Grimoire here is a marmalade fan. <laughs> this is a really cramped museum. Just one room? Yeah, that's another thing. One room for a museum? Not worth the admission price. Well, we went in free, so... I guess it's worth it? Uh, 
Beer. This is a really All right, same thing. It's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. I do remember this. They mentioned this before. Another story from Boggy's Bog. He looks all jolly. Recorded by Swamp and Sound, Swamp Studios, copyright. A lot of Roman numerals. Uh, what about... Is that like a treehouse? Mm. Oh, the museum. Apparently the museum was founded by the explorer many years ago. In a different location. What? Then why is it here? It's only recently been moved here to be part of the truest attraction. I feel like I'm having a conversation with Grimoire right now. <laughs> that might explain why it looks so out of place. Okay. What about this giant newspaper? Some educational facts about swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes. Yes, I did. Wow. A shocking fact. Um, there is the helmet-looking thing here. Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorer 60 years ago. That's actually interesting. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. Yeah, speaking of, I think Grimoire still doesn't have his hat. Um, so that's there. Can I click on anything in the background? Apparently. Okay, that's the same thing. Uh, this here. Hmm. I'm gonna take a look at this. Hmm. That's supposed to be the creature? This journal. Huh. It's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. Huh. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. A journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer who first visited the swamp. The only record of Boggy existing contains notes and sketches on the appearance of the small creature. The sm swamp creature. Boggy shown with three small claws on each arm. Boggy's feet are always hidden in the water. Seems to be a page ripped from the back. There's a couple of other photos right there. Um... Hmm. Let's see, I guess we can have our conversation with him, because I can't... Do we find all the, uh, notes stuff here? Oh, we've only found two, okay. I guess maybe a conversation with this dude here would solve it? Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? Um. I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. I'm writing in my diary. It's been a long day. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to you about your job. So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here... I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> There's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The Swamp Creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it... People have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. Very oh, true. A suggestion. And you've come to the right person. Hey. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. Cool. So information about Boggy collected by Agent Folder. So let's go through it. Boggy's swamp became a protected area after reports of hunting in the area. Boggy's appearance has changed from the original sketches, in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern character has simple, fin-like arms instead to make him less threatening. No footprints were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. Now you can see the example of that. Okay. What about last night? So, Mr. Folder. Agent! Folder. Yeah, 
Uh, were you here yesterday? Secret agent folder. I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't Very agent like close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Uh, again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. And if everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. Very true. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you gonna do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. Very... Suspicious? I mean, look at his expression. Screams confession. Alright, um... Let's toss a bunch of clues at him. Uh, for the next minute or so, you'll probably hear something on the lines of, I don't have a sup idea, you know, you, uh, you should give that to someone less important or something. Uh. You're wasting your precious time, detective. Like that. Um, let's try the map. I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. Cool. Uh, I'm just waiting until he goes through. This is just a piece of junk they sell to tourists. It has no resemblance to the real creature. Okay, that's actually something useful. I have no interest in something like that. Obviously. Uh huh. This file goes over some basic differences between the genuine creature and the cartoon character. It's nothing more than a basic overview, really. That's still helpful, I guess. You're wasting your precious time. Okay. I've never seen that before. You've never seen a bog dog before? Come on, they're the I have best no thing ever. In something like. All right. What about uh You're wasting your How about this? An important piece of the puzzle. This journal is a key to unlocking the history of this place. Oh, uh, so he doesn't expect Okay, great. Um this, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. Okay. I've never seen that before. All right. How about The real swamp creature had claws. Three on each hand, to be precise. But why does the costume just have these pathetic fins instead? Fair point. I have no interest in something like that. Yeah, I figured not. Um, I think that's everything for this, so why don't we go to profiles? We have met everyone, that's something. We've also got four of the, uh, secret thingy things. If I cared about that person, I would know everything I need to know already. So you don't care, that's great. Um, Echo? Oh yes, I know him. He occasionally asks me about the history and biology of the swamp creature. I explain to him what the real Boggy looks like and how they changed his appearance for the cartoon character. Why did he ask about that? Because some people are naturally curious. You should give it a try sometime. Oh, they, was that was that an insult? Next time, only show me something if it's important. Let's make that a rule. I refuse on the grounds of I can just show you everything. This person is of no interest to me whatsoever. All right, how about If I cared Pearl. about that person. All right, you don't. How about Waybridge? Next time. Nothing. This Yourself. This person is of no interest to me whatsoever. That was you. Okay. <laughs> um what about Bug? Are you asking about the cartoon character? Because I have no interest in such childish matters. No, I think I'm asking about the actual creature. Yeah. What's the difference, anyway? Everything! Everything! Alright, finally the victim. The man was a fool! That's all you need to know! That's suspicious as all heck, but alright. Um, did I collect everything here? Oh, there's so much stuff. Maybe? Okay. This came into my head, but I'm not 100% sure if this is right. Maybe... Maybe when things like this, can I click on this stuff? It says another there you go. story from Baki's bomb. That is true. I didn't even realize that. But actually, I think this is from the very first episode. Okay. Interesting. Swamp Studios, providing the best in swamp-based animated entertainment. This is like the the TLC of this world. It's a poster from. The Okay. Boggy playing the piano. He's having a grand old time. Haha. Uh -huh. 
Can I click on this one? Copyright MCM XXXIV. Uh, that's... M is a thousand, right? So is that like... What will we tell you? That'll be... Alright, there we 19, go. 1930... 1934? Okay. Copyright... Alright, that's the same thing. Um... Let's see. That was one hint, at least. Um, hmm. That goes back to there. What was another thing that... Some education... Um, some education. There's a little door nope, in the wall there we here. Go. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. That's probably the thing he lockpicked. Uh, let's see. Did I collect all of it now? One more thing. There's one more thing in here, and I'm not sure what it is. All right, let's see. Um, the inscription, maybe? Let's see. There we go. This journal belonged to the explorer who first discovered Boggy in this swamp 60 years ago. All right, there we go. That's all of the, uh, the notes aspect here. The only thing left is this area, which I guess is Remington's office. Okay, so why don't we go fast travel to everyone, show everyone everything we've got, and then move from there. So... Hmm. Let's present a clue. What is it? Some evidence? Okay. Mm-hmm. That... Okay, that's not great either. Swamp juice? I'm sorry, I have not seen... That's the food I saw Mr. Remington eating at the cafe last night. Before okay. he got ill and rushed back to his office? That's right. This is going down in my notebook. It might be important. Okay. So it's, it's seeming what pretty clear it? as to how... Last night? It seems very clear how things got to him getting to his office. Mm -hmm. that... Okay, you have nothing there. And then... I'm sorry, I have not... Nothing. What about Tarver? You should ask someone else. Uh, Wayward. Try showing it to somebody different. And Folder. I really don't have. All right, great. Um, uh, so it's it seems like it's very clear that he ate the bog dog, got sick, and went back to his office. So that part of it's understood. Um, here I got some stuff for you. You won't be getting very. All right. Um. If you want to know. I don't really have time. You won't be getting. If you want to know. I don't really have. You won't be getting. I'm a busy man. I simply. You want me to. St Alright. Pretty nothing. Um. Let's see. Oh, I don't need to do that. I can fast travel to the protest. Let's talk with you. Uh -huh. the flower book? Show it to somebody. No thanks, my friend. Okay. I'm afraid I have no. Show it to some. This is the journal, correct? The Here's one something. that man left here 60 years ago? You seem yeah. a little unsure of the details. Shouldn't you have read up on all the stuff? Forgive me. It's hard for me to get the image of Bucky as the lovable cartoon character out of my mind. He's just so iconic. Did you know, in 1973, he... But you're protesting to protect the real swamp creature. The cartoon character is just some commercial byproduct, right? Yes, yes, of course. Hmm. No thanks, my friend. Nothing doing. And then... I'm afraid I... Nothing doing. Alright. How about, uh, Harbor? He seems like a good person. He even sympathizes with my cause. He agrees with your protest? But he works here, right? And he was friends with Remington. I think that was the only reason he worked here. 
Maybe he'll see the light now and leave the swamp behind him. Maybe everyone will. Music got real dark all of a sudden. You're asking the wrong person. All right. Um, and the folder. Ah, yes, Agent Folder, a good man. You know him? Mm, we get on rather well, and we shared a number of views on the way things were run around here. Hmm. Interesting. Let us fast travel to let's see, the gift shop. I guess would be the next place. Hey. Hey. Uh, I got some stuff to show you. Boaster's probably gonna be worthless. Where are you keep yeah, all of this is in my pockets. Is that one of your clues? I have no idea. Where are you? Maybe I have a bag. Is that one of your clues? Uh, I can draw way better than that. Can you show me? There's no time. Maybe in the sequel. In the sequel? Wait a minute. Are, is she in the sequel? I own the sequel, but I have not played it yet. Is she in the sequel? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Um, Harper? Is that your new friend? Sweet. Alright, great. Wait, I really And folder. Is that one of the other suspects? Alright. Um, nothing doing there. Let's take a hike over to the cafe. Talk with Harper real quick. Mm. Folder. Why don't you show that to someone? Okay, I I I got you. What about this? You don't know everything. I'm... All right. I can't help you with that. And finally. Why don't you show that to? All right, and then there's some you have things. You a lot of suspects on that list. True. I don't know what to say. All right, don't know much about them either. Disappointing, but ultimately kind of expected. All right, let's jump to the treehouse. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> I got some stuff. How's this? You bring me something with liquid. Okay. This is a 60-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. Yeah. I know what it is. I thought you might. Up, oh, it's are supposed to look to the past, right? Well, let's see. Waybridge, being 60 plus years old, was likely living in the swamp when. The swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. That makes sense. Lady Weybridge there we go. was living in the swamp when the swamp creature was discovered by the explorer 60 years ago. Ah, Lady Weybridge. She was living here when Boggy was first discovered by the explorer. Hmm. Interesting. I got some gloves let's for you, by the see. way. First and tap. Alright, let's um up then there, do a little bit of that. Now we just blue and yellow make green. Got it. Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Hmm. Is that the same as last time? This was the exact same liquid. Very confusing because it seems like all of them are the same liquid. And then folder. You should ask someone else. Great. Alright, um, let me just look at the profiles real quick. So we talked to Spears about everyone, we've talked to Echo, Harper, Vanderpeer, Burl, Weybridge, and Folder. We haven't talked to Boggy, because we can't. Haven't talked to Remington, because we can't. So I think, with what we've got so far, I'm gonna bounce to the dock real quick. Can I talk to you about anything? Ah, back so soon. What's troubling you? Um, no, nothing. Okay, yeah, I think that's where we will leave this episode off today. Um, next time, I guess we'll continue on the adventure? I'm kind of unsure as to what to go for. I guess maybe trying to find a way into, uh, his office? Remington's office? Not sure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and supporting the Adoran region in any way, shape, or form that you do. And until next time, everyone, take care. Mustache is troubling me.